So now, let's look at what it actually does to your performance. I'm pretty sure you will be impressed. So what we're going to look at is the effect on running economy in this example on the performance in your marathon. Okay, so let's come up with a typical amateur athlete or runner. Let's assume VO2 max is approximately 60 milliliters. And let's assume in a marathon it's able to use two thirds of that. So this then equals using 40 milliliter during the marathon. To put this in perspective, if this athlete would weigh 70 kilograms, this 40 milliliters equals approximately 250 watts on the bike, for example, 240, somewhere in this ballpark, right? So also if you are running with a running power meter, you can compare the number and say, okay, might be a decent example here, okay? So let's assume this is a marathon performance. And now let's assume the running economy, often used as RE, okay, is a typical value of 12.9, this is milliliters per minute per kg, so oxygen per meters per second. The different ways you can express it in per kilometer, per hour, whatsoever, okay? But let's for this example stick with this one. Okay, so what this means as a result, the marathon time is going to be defined by 40 milliliters divided by 12.9 and then this gives you a certain speed and so on and so forth. And long story short, it ends up at a marathon time of three hours and 46 minutes. It's a little bit more than three meters per second and ends up at this time. Okay. So what about if we would change the running economy just a little bit? Not a lot. Not even 10%. Okay. So 10%, for example, view to max 10% would obviously be going from 60 to 66. Let's say we change the running economy only a few percentages from 12.9, in this example, we go down to 12.1 milliliter per minute per kg per meters per second. So that's, I don't know, what is it? Seven, eight percent or something. So now the mass goes like this. Nothing changes in the physiology. Fat max stays the same, carbohydrate combustion, VO2, VLA max, everything stays the same. Now we are looking at 40 milliliters divided by those 12.1. And now this ends up 3.3 something meters per second. And basically you end up at a marathon time of three hours and 31 minutes. So we are just shaved off 15 minutes of your marathon time by changing running economy only a couple of percent. And the truth is that it is one of the most overlooked and untapped metrics for performance improvement. You can see, to give you a ballpark number, you'll be able to see amateur athletes um, at values of like 14, milliliters per meters per second. So this would be significant above four hours. And you can see better trained athletes, especially professionally, below 12 in the range of 10 to 11. And this is then how you're able to run much, much faster. Again, without changing your basic physiology. So not talking about training harder, training more, just finding a smart coach who's helping you to improve your running economy, monitor it, and shaving off double digit times from your marathon. And this is what running economy can do for you.